Haeckel's confession. Haeckel claimed also that spontaneous generation must be true, that life just originates from goo. Not because it had been proven in the laboratory, but because otherwise, he stated, it would be necessary to believe in a creator. These are the records from the University of Jena trial in 1875. Oh, something's really going on. We're not simply embracing factual evidence, and that is so tragic. In his sumptuous book, uh, good word, Nick Hopwood, a science historian, examines how and why, again, this is a secular writer who is, who is making these statements, a science historian examines how and why Haeckel made his drawings and the use made of them since. His clever detective work takes him into the Haeckel archives in the German town of Jena, discovering the original drawings and even the wood blocks. Wow! At the other end of the story, explores how Haeckel's drawings appeared in post-war textbooks in the United Kingdom and in the U.S. Stunning illustrations show the way the images had been copied and reinterpreted from the late 19th century on, and insights from writers shed a fascinating light. For example, Scott F. Gilbert, author of a 1985 developmental biology textbook, inadvertently used Haeckel's images. As late as 1985, and he gives him credit, saying inadvertently, well, but it wasn't retracted. Hopwood's excellent thought-provoking book makes us ponder how these erroneous illustrations acquired their iconic status, and above all, it shines a spotlight on the power of drawings to influence our thinking. 